All right, in this video, I'm going to reflect on my current trading. Um, I'll show you my statistics for my uh, Express Funded account. Uh, hello. Hi. So as you can see, over a long period of time, I am a break-even trader. Uh, I haven't been losing money, really, for uh, like a week, but I haven't been making money either. Uh, it's better to be break-even than losing, I guess. Um, but... You know, with that being said, uh, I just want to go over some reflections of, you know, what I think is going on here, uh, how I, you know, some of the mistakes that I think I'm, I'm making and, you know, reflecting on that. So number one, um, the first reason I think that I'm, I'm a break-even trader is uh, most of my entries are pretty good, but my stop losses are too tight. So... I'm just not allowing the market um, enough leeway against me. So the stop losses have been too tight. Um, number two, the month of August is just difficult. I mean, Michael Huddleston says it himself. The, the NASDAQ has, has not been easy to read at all. Uh, so objectively speaking, August has been difficult. Um, number three, uh, so my stop losses are too tight. The month of August is uh, difficult. Uh, it's been quite frustrating. Um, number four, I, I I have been focusing on too many models, not just honing in on one model. So from this point forward, you know, I've told you that I'm going to focus on fair value gaps. I think that I'm re-entering the market too quickly. Um, so I'm not waiting for a d distinct PD array every time that I enter. I'm just re-entering the market too quickly. Um, so there's that uh, re-entering the market too quickly Number, the next thing is I think I'm probably uh, taking too many partials like partials are good but at the same token you know if it's distracting you from like your final target you know a lot, most of the time I've noticed with my trades had I just let them go uh, they would end up going to whatever target I have in mind uh, the next thing is that I don't think I'm incorporating enough of my higher time frames uh, draws on liquidity. So looking at your daily, weekly, and monthly levels, um, I don't think I've been using my top-down analysis enough. So I'm going to, you know, change that. Uh, I do think that I'm just over trading, flat over trading, too many entries, too many, too many trades. I hate saying that because I love trading, but it's true. Um, so the stop losses are too tight. The month of August is difficult. Um, not using not using my higher time frame draws on liquidity enough. Uh, probably probably uh, taking too many parcels. Not not really just allowing you know a full pull. Full pull meaning just straight in straight out. Um, the biggest thing I think is definitely the the tight stop losses. Uh, guys, you just can't really get away with tight stop losses. The Nasdaq is not going to let you do that. You, you kind of have to just trust that whatever you're seeing in the market, you're, you know, it's probably real. You're probably really seeing it. Um, I probably moved the stop to break even too quickly. Actually, I know I do. Not focusing on one model enough. Um, I haven't been over leveraging on this account. I mean, I've really been trading the micro NASDAQ, so it's not that. I, I actually have been trading the micro NASDAQ, as you can see. So it's not like I've been over leveraging the account. Um, it's better to be break even than to be losing, right? Uh, all things considered, most day traders just flat lose. Ninety percent just lose. So I'm not the ninety percent now. I'm the ten percent of not losing. Um, yeah. So not not re-entering the market too quickly. Um, not using tight enough stop losses. As you know, guys, I am adaptable. I'm a very adaptable person um, when I need to be. And although some people don't think that's true, uh, I can adapt. Um, so I will reflect on my mistakes uh, and try and and try and implement changes. Um, I've stopped over leveraging. You know, I'm on the micro Nasdaq. I'm trading the appropriate size, uh, but the stop losses are too tight. The break even stops are coming in the market too quickly. I'm re-entering the market too quickly. I'm just flat over trading, not sitting with my winning trades long enough. Uh, I do get frustrated by the market. The market does frustrate me. August has been a difficult month. I, I haven't been incorporating my higher time frame draws on liquidity enough. 
and I haven't been focusing on one model, which is what I have to do. I have to focus on one model. Um, all the models are going to take you to the same place. If, if you have the draw and liquidity correct, they're all going to take you to the same place. And I think I've been overdoing it with the partials. So going forward, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to use wider stop losses, number one. I have to use wider stop losses. I'm clearly getting stopped out too often. Uh, number two, I'm going to focus on my fair value gap model, so fair value gap model. Number three, I'm going to be aware of my higher time frame, so monthly, weekly, and daily draws on liquidity. Um, number four, I'm going to try and make a call, uh, predict what the next day and the next week is going to look like every day and every week. As that's an important. You have to make predictions in futures. You have to try and predict what the market is going to do. Uh, you, there's no way to get around that. You have to try and predict price. This whole idea that you can just react to price is not true. You cannot. Um, and those are some of the changes that I'm going to make, and we'll see if my statistics improve, uh, especially coming into the month of September. So this is current reflections on my current, uh, so the current state of my uh, Express Funded account. As you can see, right now I'm a break-even trader. Let's see if we can get this up to be a winning trader. And um, those are some of the current reflections. Bye-bye.